All right, this morning we're going to make some sausage gravy. Now that's not Korean, just so everybody knows, so I don't hear get the video comments. Anyway, um, heating my pan up, putting some sausage in here. Got about half a package of just plain old breakfast sausage. I'm going to put a little oil in here. So our sausage is starting to cook up a little bit. We gotta brown it and break it up into small pieces. It's kind of the fun part to start your day off, taking your aggressions out on the sausage. Cause you've been a bad sausage. Also want a little bit of onion. So I got about that much, about eh, three tablespoons of finely diced onion. Let's put that in there because we want that to brown up too. Alright, now sausage and onion are just about done. Now, I've got some oil in the pan, but I don't think I have quite enough. So I'm getting ready to make a roux in this pan. Now I'm not going to need a whole lot of gravy, but you can stretch this out by just adding more oil and more flour. But I'm, I don't need to do that today. Alright, so I got some hot oil in there. Now, we'll take about a tablespoon of flour. And notice that's a heaping tablespoon. This is just based on how much oil that you have. I'll put this in and see what it does. You gotta mix the oil and the flour. You gotta get those blended together. This is one of these things you just got to pr practice. You got to do it a few times. See now my, how my pan doesn't look oily now. Now I've got to brown this up. I've got to cook it. Because if you don't brown it up, your flour is going to taste raw. Besides, I live far enough down south, we always brown our roos. Alright, see how that roux's getting brown? That's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a dark one, just brown. Now, one of the things I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to put some milk in here, but I'm going to start out with some, a can of evaporated milk. This, this is one of my secret weapons. You don't want to use all evaporated milk. If you're camping, then you can, but it's a little rich. Let's throw some black pepper in there. Be generous. We're going to need a little salt. Not too much at first because we're going to taste it and see what that did for us. You can always add more salt, but it's hard to take it out. Alright, now this is heating up again. So I'm going to add some milk. Plain old whole milk. Get it back up to temperature. Alright, now this is back up to temperature. And it's thickening up. I'm just going to turn the temperature down. Let it simmer for a few minutes. It'll thicken up. 
take out the last little bit of that raw flavor and it'll just let everything blend together. All right, now this is basically gravy. Let's go ahead and turn it off. I got a couple biscuits. Now, I didn't make these. I don't have an oven right now. So I went downstairs at a buffet line and I got them. This gravy here is a lot better than what they had. There we go.